everyone I'm going to show you how real quick how to use the notched straight edge and to make the neck straight pretty simple because I'm taking the neck off the Chibanez because after my grandma seizure it pretty much destroyed it and the neck is damaged so I'm using it as a demonstration so without the strings it will kind of make it a little bit easier so you're supposed to do it with the strings on, but you can do it with the strings off. So what you want to do is when the strings are on, you go to the end of the fretboard with the base side. And I'll get a little bit closer too so you can see it. Let it focus. focus. Come on camera, you can do this. All right, so you'll see uh, if the, there's any space under here, which is supposed to have a little bit of bow and you go through here, make sure it's flush, and if there's any kind of gap, especially down over here, which this neck's really bad. So right here you would see, okay, I have a little bit of a gap, so you would tighten the truss rod, meaning you would go and righty tighty lefty loosey, and then so you go more towards the middle, because this is a seven string, and you would see, okay, well, I don't have to tighten it, too much but let's look over here all right so we got a gap right there and some right there so we would have to kind of tighten loose and so i would turn it like an eighth of a turn and here's the thing that always bothers me the most is the, the darn or the damn uh treble side and this is where it gets tricky and you'll get a lot of cussing from new age text so right here because the neck ended up becoming twisted and destroyed and all that so you would have to tighten the neck that's what the neck needs is a little bit of tightening so then you would go take your trusty truss rod tool and here's the thing with the truss rod adjustment you don't tighten them laying down you do this in a sitting position so I would take this obviously stand it up like that and then I would go, all right, so I would just need a slight turn. So I would go like that. That was about an eighth of an inch. Go back here, because twenty. Uh, this side right here, 24 and three quarters, that's your Gibsons, your ESPs and stuff like that. 25 and a half inch, that's your pretty much normal scale. So come back over here. and the gap is filled, especially over here. I mean, you obviously don't want to drag it on the fretboard like I'm doing, but I'm trashing the neck, so. You see, where the problem was, was over here. So make sure and then that's what you do and that's this right here is about 10 11 dollars and usually it'll come with let me grab it real quick. if you're lucky you'll get a deal and you'll get a fret rocker with it you know there's fret rockers when you're testing it you just you want to do this uh, this side for down here so you just want to to see if the fresh needs leveling. So this needs leveled. So and that and then your normal gauge or not gauge uh, your measuring string action. Come on camera. I need to get a new camera phone. So come on let's, let's get this here any moment now. I apologize for this. You guys know how technology is. Anyway, it's a string action thing, and it does all the different. Uh, you know, you can set your action for how it is. Usually, the the stock is 1.5 or one, yeah, 1.5 and all that, and 2.5 for the uh, base side. And I usually keep mine at about 11, uh, about one and a quarter, 
at one and a quarter and about two for the treble side. But there you go, that's how I do my setups and usually you could find this and this together for about 12 bucks or this for 10 bucks you can find the whole thing and there you go. So this will be the last video I do for a while because like I was stating in the one thing I'm going to just work on the uh, website and that's where you'll see a lot of the videos at and I might do one last video on this because this is like basically a recording studio with a bunch of amps in it and I've been playing on this. You can just hook it up to the side of your uh, waistband and just go play around with it. But I, this is pretty cool. This is heavier than heavier settings that I've ever used on my Marshall. But thanks for stopping by giving us a try. Hopefully someone likes it enough to support and I can give myself a cup of coffee. But take care.